everyone and welcome back. So I'm sure you're all more than aware by now, Frost of All is back in game. And that means we've got some returning classes that you may or may not already have. So it's worth going over them because they're all free player and they're not overly difficult to go and get. Okay, so the first one is at Join Frost Vale. And as you can see, it's the Frost of All Barbarian. This is our very odd farming slash support class. Obviously, you can use this class in some of the ultra battles, so it is worth getting just in case it's ever needed in the future you will never actually use this for farming but as you can see the requirements aren't all that and eventually you will be able to go through get that class and then it's another one just to add into your bank so at least you've got it there lurking in case like I say it's ever needed obviously some of the things you may actually have used this class for I did it when I was farming SDK you could just flick between the two rooms hitting skill 5 that is actually really odd though with Frostal Barbarian is it's only your skill 5 that does any damage other than your auto attack 2, 3 and 4 are literally all about buffs, debuffs etc but that's enough about that let's move on to our next one frost spirit reaver which is most definitely our most powerful frost of all class so this one is from join ice dungeon and as you can see you have a quest chain to go through this one definitely does take the longest however once you've got it you've actually got a pretty decent soloing class with a very nice nuke attached to it this one is all about stacking up skill free it's kind of like a chronomancer in that way you want three stacks of skill free and then you can hit your nuke on five which for me was doing like 30 to 40 K consistently. Bear in mind I'm using the blinding lights here ever so it is boosted against this undead monster. Obviously if you have the likes of Void High Lord, you're not going to be replacing it with this class but it is a pretty handy one to have. When you read its skills it sounds a lot more complicated than it is but it's really not when you eventually get your head around its slightly wacky rotation. Anyway let us move on to our next one. So this is the only one I can't really show you a preview of because it's the one I'm currently farming for. It's Glacial Berserker from Ice Wind Pass. Yes I still don't have this class. I know shame Shame on me, shame on me. However, as you can see, you just need to get Glaceria to rank 10, which could take a little while because most of the rep quests are 500 rep or less. Once upon a moon, Glacial Berserker was actually like a top 5 soloing class. It's not in that bracket anymore, but once I have gone through and got this class, I'm going to do a review of it, would you believe? So folks, if you need any help with the farming of Frost of All Barbarian or Frost Spirit Reaver, I have guides on both of those, which I will ping up onto this video for you. If you're struggling to find the Infernal Ice Heart of Frost of All Barbarian, it's located in Veneera's shop in Join Curio. So just go to the Curiosity shop and you'll find it in there. Now we have one final class to look at. The Northlands Monk from Join Frozen Soul. Literally defeat the boss you see on screen. There is a level 100 version. I believe that has a slightly higher drop rate. But don't quote me on that. As you can see, it's yet another soloing class. It's kind of a weird B tier. It's not the worst thing you ever use in the world, but it's not really powerful enough to pack any sort of major punches into the enemies you're going to be defeating. Especially when we compare it's a frost spirit which we looked at early on shout out to clr for reminding me of the northlands mug i was recording this earlier thinking i swear there's something else that i'm missing and there was it was this one and to be quite honest i'm not overly surprised that i did forget about it it's yet another class with a funny little combo you need to use on it all to do with your skill for and essentially not using it until skill five has cooled down a little bit and then you still get the frost of all spirit buff to increase your damage at least when you use your skill four Anyway, folks, thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave this with a like and, of course, subscribe and I'll see you again for another one.